Okay, so you've gotten out, you've shot some weddings, and you want to really show the world what you got and start making some serious money, but don't know how to do it, the first thing you need to do is build a website. Social media is not gonna be around forever, so let's show you how to build a professional website that gets you booked and makes you serious money in under 10 minutes. Let's go. You know, I always tell myself, I just have to go out and give it my all, no matter what anybody's trying to do to hold me back. The key is to keep hustling and keep putting out those bangers. And I always have to remember, no matter what, I am Josh Russell. Okay, so like I said, I wanna get into this and I'm going to show you how to build a website for your wedding photography business in under or about 10 minutes really quickly and easily with Wix. Now, I'm not sponsored by Wix. I don't get any affiliation with this. I just wanna show you guys how easy and how amazing I feel Wix is for creating websites. I actually run five different websites on Wix and I wanna show you in about 10 minutes how you can create an easy portfolio website that's going to attract clients and really show off your skills. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go over to Wix, uh, their website, it's wix.com, and you're gonna sign up for an account. Now, I already have an account, so I'm not gonna go through this. It's really simple, and if you don't know how to sign up for a website account, you probably should, yeah, never mind. Let's get into this, and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna open up my account, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But basically, what you do is you create account, verify, and then it's gonna ask you if you want to create a new website. And that's where we're gonna start when I get into mine. Okay, so this is where you should be sitting at after you sign up and you verify. And let me let you know that I'm gonna run through this pretty quickly because I'm trying to keep this at 10 minutes. If you need to, just slow the video down or pause it, go back, watch it again, whatever you need to do to really grasp this. Uh, but we're gonna get into it. And basically, what we're gonna do is you can try Wix Studio if you want, but I always go Wix editor because I feel like Wix editor gives me a little bit more control on what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and hit create on Wix editor. It's gonna bring up their new AI feature. Their AI is okay, but we're gonna skip it. We're just gonna hit set up without AI. And this is where you're gonna actually put in, what kind of website are you creating? And we're creating a wedding photographer. But basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna help you find themes or templates that are gonna work for you. So let's go Josh Russell Weddings. Hit next. So this next step is going to ask you what you want to add to your website prior to starting. So if you wanna have a live chat where they can contact you, you're gonna put that. Uh, otherwise you can turn it off. Uh, Instagram feed, bookings. I don't do any bookings through this. I actually do it through HoneyBook, which is a different video that I can create for you guys. Uh, but I do wanna add a blog because I feel like blogs are very important. So we're gonna go ahead and, and put blog in here. Uh, and from there, we will just kind of scroll down, make sure we don't need restaurant menus or bands in town or anything like that. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just hit next. And from here, you can start setting up your website if you wanna go to the dashboard. Otherwise, we're gonna begin with a template. So we'll go ahead and hit begin with a template. These are all templates that you're gonna be able to use, edit, and create for yourself. And if you wanna see them, you can go in and you can just hit view and it's going to open a sample. So this is a pretty good gallery here. I don't want to build a gallery as much as I want to build a uh, actual website. So I know that I like this one. And if you want to see what it's going to look like on mobile, you can just click here and it'll show you the mobile version as well. But I want to think I want to go with something like this. To keep it pretty simple. Let's go ahead and let's look at a couple more. What about this one? I don't want a dark website. How about this one? So this is kind of the feeling that I want to go for right here. Don't worry about the guts down here and all of this stuff. We're going to change all of that. But I like this header. I like the way this looks. How does this image look? I'm digging this. With the chat button down here. I'm digging this. So let's go with this one. Let's go ahead and hit edit with this site. This is where you're gonna really start creating your website now. You're gonna be able to start going in and changing stuff. I'm gonna show you quickly, easily, how to make it your website. Okay, so once we get to this point, they're gonna ask you if you want to let AI create some of this for you, and we're definitely gonna let it because it's going to help at this point. Now, you're still gonna go back and edit it yourself, but it's just gonna kinda ask you some details. So it's gonna ask you details what the site is about. It's a wedding, uh, a luxury, wedding photographer in Orlando, Florida. Type of website, wedding photographer, name of site, Josh Russell, and generate site. That's gonna take this information and actually put it on a site for you. So you'll see it pop up here in a second. We'll go ahead 
And you can see that it says luxury wedding photographer right here, Josh Russell Weddings. It went ahead and added this. So let's go ahead and we're going to hit this 50 to 100%. We want to be able to edit this. So we'll get to this page right here. And this is where you're going to start really changing your website. Your header is up here, your search bar. We're going to just delete the search bar. I don't want the search bar. And we'll worry about this in a little bit. But what I want to do is I kind of want to hide it. So we're going to navigate the menu. We're going to go here. We're going to hide home, hide hide portfolio, hide bio, and we'll leave blog up there for now. Then let's go over here and we're going to edit our name. So we'll change it to say Josh Russell Weddings. Now, if you have your own logo created, feel free to drop it in here. I'm just going to go with this stack, this stock font here. And then we need to raise this up just a little because we dropped it down when we put that in there. So this is what your website looks like now. You could go ahead and start working on your header here. So let's go luxury wedding photographer in Orlando, Florida. I wanna make this bold just so we can see it a little bit. And I think once I change that background image, I'm gonna to have to change the font color anyway. So let's go ahead and change that background image. Now, before you do all this, there is some upkeep that you need to do or some maintenance. Uh, get all your images that you're gonna use on your website and get them together and ready to go in one folder. It'll make this so much easier. So we'll just go ahead and manage media and we're gonna go ahead and select all cause we, these aren't our photos. So we'll go ahead and get rid of them. We're gonna add media. We'll add an image. We'll go ahead and upload media upload from computer. We're going to find those images and we're going to figure out a photo that's going to look good full frame in that background. And I think I want to go with this one. Now, this is where you're going to pick your hero shot of your favorite of favorite shots, but make sure that it also shows this couple in a natural and real environment, um, pose, stuff like that, because not all of your clients are models most of them aren't going to be. So they want to see real, normal, natural people in the photos. They don't want to see something that's been like curated and posed super like out of the ordinary and stuff like that. Okay. So my photos here, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure it's selected. Uh, you can go in and adjust your SEO and stuff for this, but we'll do that in another video. Uh, let's go ahead and hit add to gallery. And once you see that pop up, go ahead and hit done. So the image is now going to be the background of this website. Uh, we can drag this down just a little bit so we get a little bit more of that dress in there. Let's get this down just a little bit further. And we're going to change this font color to white and this one as well to white. We'll need to do it up here as well. Now, this is just because of the way that mine looks, but make sure that you go in here and you do all of this. That way we can see what's going on. Okay, so we're here we are. Now, we're going to get rid of this next section because... I don't like this at all. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure this is all highlighted and just hit delete. So now we have a website that looks just like this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll to right here where it says, and you'll see add section pop up. Go ahead and hit that. And this is where we're going to add our next section in here. And I think the one that I actually want to add is this one. Just go to about and then the this about because the next thing that I want on my website is talking about me. So we're going to go there. I'm going to click the one on the right here change the column background to my site files, upload. And if you want, you can just go ahead and upload all of your photos if that's easier, which I'm going to do right now. Okay. So I got my photos all uploaded. Uh, and I, you can see that there's only about 10 of them total for this, this one page website. I'll explain that in a second, but I want to grab this one right here and put it right in there in the background. Now I need to change the crop of it because you can see that it's not fitting right. We're going to go image, select this one, but before you go hit crop and edit. And then we're going to want to make this a one by one and just bring it down to where you want it and hit save. This is going to now crop that image and make it fit. It does keep your original one on the website, but it'll make this one fit just a little bit better. And then we just got to kind of figure out where it needs to be. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to switch where my image is. I don't want me looking off the page. I want me looking at my information. So what you do is you just click this square, manage columns, make sure two is selected and make it Click the left button. There we go. Okay, so next I want to get rid of all of this information because I don't need any of that stuff there. We'll keep the social media here. And this is where you're going to put your bio in or not really a bio, but kind of like a, hey, welcome to the page type situation. Okay, so the way that you do this is you hit the plus button on the left-hand side. And this is where all of your elements are going to live for your website. This is where you're going to pull anything from. But I just want to add a text in here. 
and enter my text. And then we're going to just format it a little bit, bring it over here and widen it so it fits. Then we can just go ahead, grab this and bring it back up to where it needs to be. Okay, so now that we got that, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to kind of stylize this. So I want to actually select all of this, find a font that I use and I like uh, Helvetica actually is one I use. Now, a little tip is don't go overboard with a bunch of different fonts. Try to keep to two to three fonts on your entire website. Uh, we'll make this one a little bit bigger. We'll actually go Helvetica, Helvetica bold on this one and bold it again. And let's just make that a little bit bigger. This one we're going to do the same thing with. Uh, we'll just make it a little bit bigger here. Let's get that there. We'll go ahead and make sure we got room here. So now your next section is completely done. If you want to take some of this border off here, you can do that by just hitting your layout and taking this padding down a little. So now my padding looks a little bit better. Now the next thing we need to do is add a couple photos. So the way that we do that is we're going to go ahead and just click and add another section. Going to go down to gallery here. We're going to find one we like, which we're just going to use... Uh, just a normal image gallery here. We don't need it to say anything. We'll just go like that. So now we have our image gallery here. Now I do want to make this full screen to match everything else or full width. So go ahead and hit the stretch button. And that's going to go ahead and stretch to full width. And then just like we did with the background image on our header, we're going to go ahead and change the media. Select all, delete, add media, image. And then we're going to select our other images that we put in here. Now, a little word of the wise, a little suggestion is make sure that you have a good mixture of both landscape and portrait orientation photos. And make sure that all of your photos are very consistent with your style. Uh, that way that they can see that you're not all over the place. And this comes with experience of, as a photographer, not really a business person. So now we have our images in here and I noticed that one's dropped down below. So let's go ahead and try to change the way that this looks and let's go settings. And let's mess with a couple different layouts. So instead of collage, let's try masonry. Because what we want is we want to keep this nice and clean. Grid, bricks. Bricks is going to be way too big. It's, it's, it's adding like full size. So masonry is the closest one we're getting to where we want to be. And it may just be like playing around with the photos until they all fit in line where they need to be. So let's go ahead and let's like kind of drag this one up. And let's take a vertical one over here and see if that'll fix our issue. And now you can see that they all fit. So the masonry looks the best. Uh, as you can see, I have a mixture of um, bridal party, separate photos, wedding party, uh, separate photos, a couple details, and then, yeah. So it shows my, my style, my look. You don't need to fill your website with a ton of photos. If they wanna see that, send them to your Instagram. So we are now three sections deep into this and it looks awesome. Let's go ahead and add our last section here. And that's going to be the contact and the pricing. So go ahead and hit add section. We're going to go down here. We're going to hit contact and then we'll just drop this one in. What we need to do is we need to change this info to reflect what we want it to say. Uh, a lot of hot button issues is do you put in your pricing on your website? And what I always do and what I've always seen work for me is I put a starting at price and a average total cost price, like what most couples invest. So I'm going to go ahead and say that. Thanks again for considering me for your wedding. Just a little info. My wedding photography pricing starts at $29.90. And averages, while most couples invest around $6,000. And then also you want to add in that you, they need to book you right away. I also tend to book out about 12 to 15 months in advance. So if you are interested in learning more, make sure you send me a message before so your bro, no, so your date is still available. Now we just need to go in and make this smaller. And I'm gonna change it back to Helvetica like the other stuff, because I want all of this to live the same. Make it a little bit smaller. And then over on the right hand side is your contact. So we're gonna go ahead and hit contact. We're gonna bring this up. 
so it's a little bit bigger. It's going to yell at us because it doesn't like it to be full page like this. But I don't care. We're going to drag this so it's in the center. We're going to bring it down. And then all of these, we're going to make bigger. And then the last thing you need to do is finish your footer on the bottom. Enter in your information here. Add a couple social media links, and you're good to go. If you want to add your Instagram, you can. Uh, that's another little added feature that you can do by just hitting the plus button. But your website is done, right? Let's preview it and let's see how it looks. Hit the preview button, upper right-hand corner, and let's go ahead and let's see how it looks. Look at this. You have a one-page gallery that is ready to go. Now, with that being said, over time, you're going to want to start adding some more stuff to it, add a little bit of flair. But, I mean, you're you're pretty good to go right now. I mean, you could, you could add in some more info down here if you wanted. You could, uh, like I said, add an Instagram feed down here, put an intro video in if you wanted to add a video. You could add a video to the background here. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. But there is one more thing that we have to do, and we have to check to see how this is going to look on mobile. And the way that you do that is you click the uh, over here on the left-hand side, you click the little cell phone right here. And we're probably going to have to fix some things. So let's just go in and let's see how it looks and see what's going on. This text is a little big, so we'll just go ahead, select it, bring it down. But other than that, it looks pretty good. If you want to preview this on a cell phone, go ahead and hit the preview button, and you're seeing what your website looks like. Look at this. Now, there's one last thing that I want to do, and that is for the mobile, I want to add a button right here that says pricing, and it takes you right down to the pricing because I've noticed over the years that that button on my website gets clicked more than anything else. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit the plus button and hit scroll down the button and then find the button you want to use. And I am just going to use like this get started button right here. We're going to drag it into our header. We're going to put it right there. We're going to change what it says, and we're going to have it say pricing. We're going to make it a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be that big. And then we're going to change by hitting this little paintbrush the way that it looks by going to customize design. Your border is the one you want to change to match your website. So let's go with a little bit more of a brown. And we're going to change it to be only one pixel. And we can also change the text color too. So we'll go in here. We'll hit text. Change the text color to match. We'll change it to Helvetica. And then when we do that, we can also make this a little bit smaller too. Now, you've probably noticed that our logo is no longer on here. Um, that's because it's hiding right here, and we just need to change it to black and then change the size of it. So now that we got this pricing here, we just need to link it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it a link by going link. We're actually going to change it to an anchor point and we're going to make it a, we're going to connect it to this contact section. So now if somebody clicks on it, it's going to take them and take them right to that contact information right here. So once you've done all this, you are ready to go ahead and hit the publish button and send it out and start sharing this website. So it's that easy to create a one page portfolio website. If you want to start adding sub pages and stuff, that's totally okay. But this is enough to really get you booked. I promise. All you need is a hero image, a little blurb about yourself, a small gallery to show your work, your best work, and your most relatable work, as well as a contact. From there, then it comes into the meetings. The meetings are where you really sell yourself. The website, that's just to show your work. The meetings, the inter interaction, the conversation, that's where you sell yourself. So go out, build this website, connect with those people and set up those meetings and then really sell yourself and make that money. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, go ahead and check this one out because this one's going to help you just as much.